through the final rotation. They're at the halfway mark, and Danielle Silovash of Romania leads Elena Shushanova by just fractions. You have to go out to the hundreds. It's that close, and both are capable of throwing tens in the next uh, rotation, the floor exercise. There is Silovash. She's from Deva. That's the Romanian team's training site and as we said when Nadia was still on the team they had a photo in the newspaper and Silovash was in the background the caption said the next Komenich when she was around eight nine years old and here she is with that chance two rotations away and there's Elena Shushanova tight lift tough uh, she is as is uh, the case with Silovash on the floor they're both expected to get tens you're going to see some sensational uh, gymnastics and speaking of a sensation she burst on the scene in Rotterdam won the world championship Aurelia Dobre this is her second fault she's trying to better a 9.70 her second rotation and she's using the laid out Yurchenko that most of the top gymnasts here are using very clean and nice certainly a year ago when we saw her in Rotterdam before the knee injury she was a little more powerful and a little more explosive. And I think if she had a couple more months, we would see her back in the race for the gold here. Unfortunately, you can see she has not really gotten all the way back. She has a decent push, decent height, minor form breaks. She's a great, great gymnast. We look forward to seeing her at 100% soon. A 9.825 for Dobre on the vault. She currently is in seventh place. Phoebe Mills is in eighth place, but it's Silovash, Shushanova, Boganskaya, one, two, three, after the first two rotations. So, Daniela Silovash and Elena Shushanova, as expected, in a tight battle for the gold medal. Now they'll move to the floor exercise. Dick, I'm over <laughs> two going into this. I don't know, I'm a little afraid to pick a winner. But I'm going to go with Shushanova. You said earlier you thought this is where the championship, the gold medal, would be won. I think it's going to be determined here because uh, vaulting is, is pretty much a Shushanova event. She's a world champ on it over and over. But I, I'm going to take Shushanova on floor. So knowing that Shushanova has the vault to finish, and that's her strength, but Silovash has scored tens. Yes, she has, but she's going to be throwing a difficult uh, uh, first tumbling pass. It's a double-double, and she's tumbled in it in the optionals. And uh, I'm a, if she can hit that, well, we might have a tie. I don't know. It's going to be close. We're a few minutes away from that third rotation. Silovash and Shushinova getting loose. So while we have this opportunity, let's spend a moment in time with Daniela Silovash. In 1976, 14-year-old Nadia Comaneci probably had no idea she was starting a revolution in her homeland. Back home in Romania, her perfect tens were inspiring a whole generation of little girls to try their hands at high-flying, gravity-defying acrobatics. Just six years old, Daniela Silibash was one of them, watching closely, studying carefully. Initially, I chose gymnastics myself after seeing Nadia on television. After that, I talked it over with my parents. They were quite happy about it and they entirely agreed. Daniela's dream to grow up to be like Nadia has nearly come to life. She and Nadia are the only Romanians ever to hold the European All-Round Championship. And like Nadia, she holds that title going into her first Olympics. She hopes the similarities continue right on up to the victory stand. The frame is tiny, 77 pounds, and there's that baby face. But for 18-year-old Silibash, gymnastics is no longer a childhood dream. It's a full-time job. During the first days, I found it quite difficult to say goodbye to my friends and the games we played. But because I chose to do this sport, I had to give up playing games. Now I'm used to training instead of playing. It seems she was born to be a gymnast, but she was born here in Deva, site of the National Gymnastics School, where she now lives, trains, and studies with her teammates. Though infrequent, fun and games are a part of the gymnast's training, a time to release the tension in body and mind, a time to become little girls again. Daniela's remarkable self-discipline has made her almost faultless, especially on her favorite event. As a child, I trained a lot on the balance team. Even then, I had some talent for it. 
and I'm not afraid of falling as happens now and then during training. I know how to fall and there's no need to be afraid, but sometimes during competitions I get upset if I fall. Which is exactly what she did at last year's World Championships in Rotterdam. An uncharacteristic mistake, it steeled her commitment to flawlessness. Some call her the new Nadia. But there's really only one reliable judge of that. Daniela Sijipas, for my opinion, will be the Olympic champion in Seoul. And the 18-year-old daughter of a truck driver and Deva Romania, Daniela Silovash with a narrow lead over Elena Shushinova, warming up, anticipating the next rotation the floor exercise. Bart Connor, take us through just how the judges look at uh, these routines and make their scores. Yeah, I really think it's important to break it down to see how they derive at the scores, especially in these optional exercises. Three points are given for value parts. Those are the A, B, C, and D moves. 2.5 is for combination, and that's for specific requirements on each different piece of equipment. Now, under execution, that's form and technique. It used to be worth four points. Now it's worth 4.2 because two-tenths of a point for virtuosity, which is extra special technique or amplitude, is awarded in the execution category. Now, every gymnast just about at these games has a routine that's worth 9.7. The three-tenths of a point for bonus is what everybody's looking for. And, of course, in those three-tenths, two-tenths is for originality, and one-tenth is for an additional D. So if you have a routine that's stocked with difficult moves and D moves, you can get the perfect 10. And to show you how perfect Silovash has been, she's been on in 10 events, and this competition has five perfect tens. And here is the scoring. Silovash, Shushanova right there. Just a, a quarter of a point could put her back in the lead. Boganskaya of the Soviet Union. Podorak surprisingly is fourth. Little 15-year-old Soviet Lashenova is fifth. And Dujeva of Bulgaria is in sixth place. Phoebe Mills is eighth. And they go to the third rotation. We go to the main track and field stadium. Did appear that he was pulling up uh, the left leg, favoring the left leg as he crossed the line. Here the women are moving to their next rotation, the third, for their warm-up. We can tell you that uh, Dobre, the defending world champion, is now seventh, Mills eighth. Brandy Johnson has moved to 12th place, and Kelly Garrison-Steves, the other American gymnast, in this all-around competition is in 17th place. We haven't said much about Boganskaya, the 15-year-old, but she is solidly in third. And I think it's important to point out, uh, with Silovash only 25 one-thousandths of a point ahead of Shushanova, that the first three really, uh, Bart Connor, are in a locked position for a medal. Even a major fall to five-tenths deduction, they'd still not fall out of the top three. And Boganskaya is putting a lot of pressure on the leaders. Her first two events were 995 and 995. So if either of Silovash or Shushanova have a major break, it could open the door up for the silver or the gold for Boganskaya. The narrowest margin ever, Mary Lou Retton. She won by five hundredths of a point in 84. Well, within the next hour, the 1988 all-around women's champion will be crowned here in Seoul, Korea. And the four-year reign of Mary Lou Retton will end. Elena Shushanova, she scored a perfect 10 in the optional floor exercise. She is as brilliant as Silovash in this rotation. And she, again, will lead Silovash. Lashenova, her teammate, has started the competition on floor and has just completed, and we're waiting for that score. Bart, you made an interesting comment earlier that uh, and coming from you and your love for the sport and the fact that uh, you have a bias, you really think that this is the medal in this sport. I really think the women's all-around gold medal is the one that really sort of uh, exudes what gymnastics is all about. and. Uh